Are you struggling to win your first game of Fortnite Chapter 5? Well, don't worry, because I'm here to show you what I think is one of the best drops in the map right now, and hopefully you can use it to get your first victory out. So, jumping into the game, the first thing you want to do is not drop the train. It's all right. It's not that good, but you want to drop in this area over here, specifically where this insignia is, all right? And I think it does denote NPCs on the map, but as you can see, this one is bigger. This insignia, this logo is bigger than the others, all right? And that's because it's got our boy Jonesy down there. So there is a whole loot path that I want to show you guys. First thing you want to do is drop in this house. There is multiple entrances to this place, but yeah, this is the one that I use. Um, so down here, and we're going to go straight in, follow the arrows on the wall, and you are here with our boy Jonesy. Now, there are some normal chests in here as well, but there is the brand new weapon cache chest. When this place has, I mean, five plus four, it has nine of them and each time we'll have random weapons and you'll just have a sick loadout now it does drop at least blue weapons sometimes you get purple sometimes you get gold i've gotten gold earlier today as well but blue is the more common one actually there's 10 there's one right here as well uh are we gonna get any purples come on really all right, sick, all blue. I swear I got a purple earlier today. But the cool place about this is you can really mix and match your attachments for what you prefer. I really prefer this sight. Uh, earlier today, I had no sight on my sniper. One other preference I have with the weapon attachments is trying to find a pump shotgun with a sight. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that. So I guess we'll work with this one. It just feels easier to hit. Wait, someone's shooting? Hello? All right, chill. Um, and then we got the cover fire SMG, but I think I'll just grab an AR. And yeah, again, looking for a sight on this one. Yeah, here's a, a sniper rifle with no scope. Now, it does take a while to return to center speed to get an accurate shot, but you can go pretty crazy with it. So if you guys don't know already, gray weapons have no attachments. Green weapons have one attachment. Blue weapons have two. Purple three. Gold and mythic four. Uh, and Jonesy will also give you some shields as well. Now, there's not much, you know loot here for shields uh but i'll show you where you can actually get that because there's a place nearby also jonesy has sick beats down here so that's pretty epic you've looted this place up and you're looking for shields in your inventory because you got your full kitted gun hopefully you got luckier than me and you actually got some purples and legendaries uh but then we go over here and as you guys remember the loot drones from last season they're back here again they're of course on the map with uh the gold uh kind of name tags in the map but there's also this company over here, Ship It Express, and these things drop loot drones. Now, the weapons out of them aren't great. They're normally green. You do get a bunch of shield. Like, you get two heals per one that you destroy. But some people have figured that out, and I am contested. So this is going to be very epic. Uh, where is he? He's in here somewhere. I also have no mats, which is a problem. I don't understand. I hear someone, but I can't see them. All right, well, in this case, it's a bot, so Midas. I want to show the audience about this. Oh, wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that's embarrassing. I'd recommend picking up a sniper. Snipers are so huge in this meta because of the medallions. You need to hit that headshot snipe. You don't want to get chip damage. Chip damage is nothing. Bro is pretty much popping a slope at all times with that medallion. So if you get chip damage and they box up, you've practically gone nowhere. And also you can come through here, these glow berries, they'll give you extra heals. And of course you can do, uh, use it with the shockwave to go really fast as well, I imagine. Let's actually try that. I haven't tried that strat yet. So I pop that and then I do that. Oh yeah, we are going, but I don't see anyone. Oh! <laughs> Bro, give me that medallion. That's not yours. What are you talking about? All right, so he had a pretty boss loadout no sight on the shotgun though but he did have the mythic now i don't know if he looted the uh the actual vault but if you go down here there should be a vault where you can actually change your weapons and this is where we will actually cook a little here now here's the vault you can open it with your medallion um, and then you can just jump right in and uh this person had a sniper a gold one and so what we're going to do is we're going to take that over to the, the bench and we're gonna change the red eye to the hollow. That's my favorite. You don't have to spend gold for it. Wait, which one does it have? Yeah, it has the times four. I reckon the hollow is the best. So we're gonna buy that and equip it. Alrighty, cool. And then we're gonna also do the same for our shotgun, trying to get that. You can also get a barrel, but yeah, we wanna get this. And I believe we can add a barrel. There we go. And now, so now this shotgun has four attachments, so it's practically gold. And then I don't think there's anything I wanna change on my AR. Uh, weapon is not modifiable. All right, so you can't mod the, the mythic ones. All right, 
But yeah, I recommend the uh, the holographic sight for the sniper rifle personally. Now let's get this victory out. We've got a medallion, which is just insanely cracked if you can get yourself a medallion. The movement is still bad in the game. Uh, I know it's been a very hot debated uh, thing on Twitter about the movement. I'm just not a personal fan of it, but like, what do you want to do? All right, like what do you want? Hopefully they'll change it back, but they probably won't because they spent a lot of time on it, so... I don't know. Game is the game. Oh, another gold sniper. I think people are fighting on the actual train. Yep, there are. So let's just go for a... It's going to be a very hard shot to line up with the moving train. But I'm a goat, so I get those done. All right? I get those done. 121 damage as well. Is there a bike on the train? How do you get a bike on the train? How do you do that? I'm just actually so confused how he's done that. All right. And then you can also go for, like, quick, crazy shots. But let me know what weapon attachments and stuff you guys prefer in the game. Those are some, just some of my personal favorites that you can run. Um, now, the other thing in the game is the weapon caches. We looted these on the first night of the update, but I don't think it's, like, too crazy to go through. Um, they don't have slopes anymore, which is good because they've just been replaced by medallions, so don't worry. Um, they're still in the game. Uh... There isn't really much of a point to get it. I, I guess the best part would be getting the medal from it, honestly, if I'm going to be uh, real. I might actually try and get a second medallion over here um, to try and just go full overpowered. See, bro just tried to pull up on me, and I'd be like, no. <laughs> I'm going to say right now, this is a sniper season. You need to learn how to snipe or you're going to die. Even in close quarters combat, sniping with the holographic sight, the, the pull-up time is not great. And I think that's why I needed to probably get an angled foregrip for this gun. Angled foregrip increases ADS. I probably should have done that. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that. Because that is actually crazy. Oh, it's actually grind whales. I didn't even know that. All right, run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Man, I swear this place is just so confusing. It actually makes no sense. Like, I, I don't even know how to, like, get into this place sometimes. All right, here we go. So, yeah, pulling it up. Where's the foregrip? Angled foregrip reduces time to ADS. Buy and equip. That is what we need. There we go. Much quicker ADS. And with a scope like this, that's what you need. I don't even know what the other one even does. Increases reload speed. That one's pretty relevant, to be honest. All right. Pull up in our G-Wag and off we go. Uh, as far as mid-game objectives, the towers are obviously pretty great. But I wouldn't go too crazy for the uh, island. I haven't actually done it yet, so probably don't listen to me. I don't even know how good or bad they are. I've got to actually try them out myself. Love how the car can float on water. Love that for us. Okay, so I think we're pulling up on someone who has a medallion as well, so we gotta be careful. I think this person's going for island. He's somewhere in this area. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you okay? Give me that medallion! That guy just has been scammed. I'm not even trolling. He's actually just been scammed of a game. No scope in the... Oh, I'm telling you, that's why you got to get the dot. The dot side's crazy. And now we've got the shotgun as well. Oh, bro. That was actually insane. You could easily do sniper-only games. Uh, if you drop the weapon cache and just get that weapon loadout, like, you're actually chilling. And it feels like as well, the uh, there's less penalty for the, the no scope. The no scope penalty was actually pretty decent there. And by penalty, I mean how far the, the crosshair is or open is. Yeah, it doesn't have a silencer. This one does. I, I still got to deep dive all of those. Obviously, silencers are more like giving away location. Um, nah, dog. You need the holographic sight. All right, so he already claimed it, which I don't know what mythic he got, if he even got one. I feel like this whole, like, kind of season is very Italian-inspired, and I don't know why. Like, you got the ruins, and then you got, like, the vineyards, and then, like, even this architecture looks like... Uh, I went to Italy, like, earlier this year for um, Mini Mints' wedding, and, like, it just kind of reminds me of it. We also stayed at a vineyard as well, so it's, like, it very much on brand there. Only five people left. Now, let's see. Can we get another medallion? We probably could. We probably could get that late-game objective. Let's do that. Uh, 
Anybody else trying to go for this at all? Okay, well, not went for it, but the guy's also not here. So what is one meant to do? Yeah, it requires access card. I haven't really used much of this AR. So you gotta be careful, like, just when fighting NPCs and everything. Like, you never know. Someone could be trying to aim a sniper at you. Like, it actually makes me very scared, I won't lie. Man, I just... I reckon if we didn't have the movement issue, we'd be really on for just, like, such a nice season. But I, I want to say that with, like, the bias of I've just hit, like, two crazy shots. I'm obviously feeling pretty good about the game. That also being said, it's like... Sniper gameplay meta is very easy come, easy go type of deal. Okay, we just got like, someone's trying to snipe. A real player here, and this guy's another bot. Love how I can barely kill the bots, but there's a real player trying to size me up over here. I gotta be careful, man. That's like literally the game. And there's a player over here too. Thought that hit personally, but all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Medallion, go crazy. Okay. Oh, this is my season, boys! Oh! Okay, don't be toxic. Power punch. That is how you win your next game of Fortnite. Make sure to get a sniper and just go crazy like I did. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you use code Locky. Subscribe. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another banger. Peace, guys.